I'm Julie Robertson. Today we're going to talk about God's love. But before we do, let's prepare our hearts and our minds by meditating on these verses from Ephesians. There are only three places in scripture that state God is something. John 4 says God is spirit. 1 John says God is light. And 1 John 4 says God is love. Not just he does love, but he is love. It's not one small part of his character. God is love entirely, completely. You cannot separate love from God. It's impossible to understand this attribute of God if we use our human cultural beliefs and understandings about love. Human love is finicky and all about feelings. It's conditional based on attraction, kindness, money, power. What can you do for me? How do you make me feel? Anything goes in the name of love. I don't wanna depend on a God who is love if that's how love is defined. Do you? Instead, if we're going to grasp that God is love deeply and in a way that's life-changing, we need to look at God first and understand how he relates and interacts to us and use that to define love. We can look at scripture, we can look at how Christ lived as God in the flesh, and then maybe we can begin to understand the breadth and the length and the height and the depth of the love of Christ. Genesis talks all about God as our creator and tells us that he made us in his image. And it tells us that at the end of the sixth day, God looked on everything he had made and said it was good, simply because we are his. We did nothing to earn his desire or his praise or make him love us. He simply declares his creation good. He initiates the relationship with his people. Scripture actually says that we love him only because he first loved us. We didn't have to be worthy. We didn't have to do anything. His love is unconditional. We also need to understand that we can't separate God's love from his other attributes. So his love is also infinite and it encompasses each of the parts of the Trinity. He's good and wise and his love is holy. That combo of love and holiness is sometimes hard to reconcile. I mean, if he loves us, doesn't he want us to be happy? His holiness means that he can't just accept us doing whatever we want, whenever we want, because it makes us happy. He can't ignore sin. To ignore sin would go against his holiness. So how is God's love and also holy? It's a bit of a brain teaser. The way I picture this in my mind is remembering something my mom would say, usually after my brother or I would get into trouble or we were frustrating her and my dad by bickering or doing any number of things we weren't supposed to be doing. And after we got scolded or punished, usually in tears, I would ask, but do you still love me? And she'd say, I don't always like you, but I will always love you. And she meant my behavior was unacceptable, but that would never stop her from loving me. And in that way, God doesn't like our sin. He can't because he's holy, but he will always love us because we're his and he's unable to not love. He wants the best for his children, so he wisely and faithfully corrects us, but that doesn't negate his love. This combination of love and holiness is also how we end up at John 3:16, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whoever should believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. His love is sacrificial. And just look at Jesus if you wanna see God as love in action. Christ was God in the flesh. Jesus healed, he forgave, he walked in relationships, he listened to others, and he sacrificed himself for each of us on the cross. His love was offered to all. He didn't ignore sin. He confronted people and he forgave their sin. He acted on behalf of many that had nothing to offer him. He acted on behalf of the outcasts. 
He listened to the forgotten. He wept with those in grief. And all of that is love. So what does all of that even mean for us? It means that no matter who you are, where you are, what you've done, or what you're going through, you are loved by God. Let that sink in. The God of the universe loves you faithfully, eternally, unconditionally. And once you're rooted and grounded in that understanding of love, nothing can separate you from God's love. Today, when you look in the mirror, know in the depths of your soul that you are loved unconditionally. And then find someone else that maybe needs the reminder and tell them that God loves them too.